Hey, it's Elaine with Elaine's Creations, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this cool card with the Greatest Journey Suite. All right, here is my Greatest Journey card. This is my favorite one out of the ones that I've created with this suite. I love this technique. It is using two dies to create one image together. So let's start with that piece right there. So I have a three and a quarter by four and a quarter piece of basic black cardstock. And I'm going to start with my shadow image of my person right here. But I'm going to measure about where the square is going to be. This is a square from the Stylish Shapes dies, some of my favorite label dies. So the square is gonna go about here. So I'm gonna have our person be right about there. So I'm just gonna hold that in place and I'm gonna use just some washi tape to help me keep him in place. And I'm gonna use my cute little boho blue dye machine that you can get for free when you join my team. I'm gonna use my Boho Blue dye machine that you can get as part of your starter kit during celebration. And let's see, I'm only going to cut up to the feet. So I'm going to put my plate, let me put it this way so you can see better. So I'm gonna put my plate just to the edge of the feet right here so that it doesn't cut out the feet. All right, so we have that part ready to go. So now I'm gonna remove the die. And we have this shadow cut out and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut a tiny bit more on both sides to give my second die a little bit more room. And you'll see what I mean when I put the other die on. So this die needs a bit of room to, to sneak down there so that it'll fit. So now I've got my shadow over top of the die so it's not gonna cut off my shadow. So I'm going to place this down and then I'm gonna use some washi tape to hold my square in place. And then I can place my top plate over top the whole image. All right, so now I'm gonna have one image even though I used two dies. So it cut out the background square for me. So now I have one piece, one image here from two dies. And then this would be a fun piece to use on the other card with the image cut out. But we're gonna use this piece right here. And I'm gonna emboss the sentiment in white on the bottom. That's why I have this thicker piece down here. And I've got my embossing powder ready. And I always like to ink up my Versamark pad. So a little trick I have when I'm embossing on a dark color in white is I use the white chalk marker or a white chalk marker to fill in any areas where the powder has missed just to make it a really nice solid image. And then 
<clears throat> and then I take a black marker and I go over any places where stray powder Now I have a piece of three and an eighth by four of the greatest of the Enjoy the Journey designer series paper. I love the colors of the paper. So pretty with all the ombre colors. And it's ombre, purple on one side and then green on the other side. So it's really, really cool paper. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of liquid glue around the edges and on the silhouette here. Okay, now I've cut out the moon with the dies and I put an adhesive sheet on the back just to make it really easy to adhere. This is the bundle that's part of the suite. It has lots of, it has lots of fun sentiments as well as this fun moon, some stars, trees, grass, and this whole flower stamp that's kind of unusual. I made uh, this watercolor card using the flower stamp and watercoloring the flowers and creating a watercolor wash to go behind the flowers. The dies have extra dies, a mountain biker, a jogger, a hiker, and some clouds, uh, and a tent, and a mountain ridge, and another ridge. So uh, some really nice extra dies. The bundle also includes a pack of three twines, a pack of three colors of twine and these enamel sticker icons. These are fun, they're very thick and I'm gonna use the compass for this card. I'm just gonna put it over here in this corner. So I'm using the other side of this paper. One side is purple and the other side is green, but this side has all the nice stars on it. And I'm just going to adhere this flat onto the card. And this is my adventure. So this is my greatest journey adventure card.